Hey guys, welcome back to Dad Bod. We're continuing our push-up progression this week. We're up to 22 push-ups per minute for 10 minutes. So 220 push-ups total. We started the series doing 10 per minute and we've been progressing by one each time. Uh, one, one rep per minute each time. So we're gonna bump it up. We're at 22. Next week will be 23 and so forth. Um, we're working towards a goal of 50 per minute for 10 minutes. And uh, if you want to do this with me, you can pause the video. We're going to get started shortly. <clears throat> Here we go. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, go. Okay, first set's done. We got it in 15 seconds, which is super slow for me. Um, feel tight from earlier, so I haven't worked that much today. Um, weather's a little cold, so I need a couple sets to get warmed up, get the muscles going. Next set is in 25 seconds. Um, you know, I'm asked one of my most frequent questions is like exactly what my routine is. And I don't have a very specific routine, um, just more of a general one, 10 seconds, because I do kind of like to switch things up quite a bit. Five seconds, two, go. But generally speaking, um, so I train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I do that almost every day, I'd say on average, six times a week or so, um, five to seven times, 30 seconds. And then I like to train chest and tries once a week. So that might be something like this, 10 minute push-ups. It could be 10 minute dips, 18 seconds. Um, could be, I've done a few videos where it's like a dip push-up hybrid. Um, could be Mike Tyson push-up challenge, eight seconds, or a different type of challenge that works the chest. Two, one. But um, generally chest triceps once a week, back biceps once a week, legs once a week, um, and then I do abs usually about three times a week, maybe more, maybe a little bit less. Um, and I've been doing the V-Up series for that. For back and biceps, I've been doing this, the 10 minute rows. Um, in the past I've done pull-ups, done muscle-ups, uh, 15 seconds But it really the idea is it really depends on what your goal is You know if you want to get stronger if you want to have a certain goal for push-ups or for four seconds for rows for pull-ups two one Then, uh, you know, I'd recommend doing the 10 minute series that we're doing right now. And the reason for that is, you know, once a week is generally good, good frequency to get stronger, um, especially if you're engaged in a program where you're constantly progressing, kind of like this one. You know, we don't do the same workout twice. We don't do the same number of repetitions two weeks in a row. We're always adding more. 15 seconds and that's one of the best ways to, to get stronger, to improve, to hit your goal. If you want to do a lot of push-ups or pull-ups or whatever it is, five seconds. Two, go. Uh. 
if you don't care about getting stronger, maybe you want to lose fat, um, you just, you, you're not really caring, you, it's all aesthetics, you don't really care about, um, you know, being stronger or performance, then I'm already going to say it's going to be hard to, um, I think, stay motivated. I think you need to find a way to um, get that sense of accomplishment. And the way I get that is from improving in my workout, 10 seconds. If your focus is strictly aesthetics, it, it takes a while for your body to change. Three seconds if you're going to do it in a healthy fashion. Go. But in terms of the types of workouts, if your goal is, you know, burn fat, get lean, don't care about um, performance. I'd recommend doing some of the fat burner workouts I have on this channel um, where it's basically, you know, might do, do it for 10 or 15 minutes and it's basically one workout per minute, um, switching often, switching every minute and basically not getting any rest, 15 seconds. And depending on your fitness level, you can vary the workouts from something that's Easier to do to more challenging movements. Five seconds. Two. Go. But the idea is to, you know, activate all the muscles in your body Keep your heart rate up, you're not doing something too high intensity, but um, you're basically burning fat, your muscles are working the whole time. And you know that coupled with eating good quality foods, um, being active throughout the day, maybe doing two of those fat burner workouts a day, uh, I think will get you there. So it really depends on kind of what your goals are. Eight seconds. My recommendation, let me do a set. Uh, th three, two, go. Uh, my recommendation is to kind of do a hybrid, I think. I think it's good to do these targeted workouts regardless if you care or not about you know doing a lot of push-ups or you know your actual performance or strength. I, I think it's good because it gives you that sense of discipline. Um, it kind of instills that structure and you will feel good as you progress, as you get better. 18 seconds. And additionally, I'd recommend also doing these fat burner workouts, um, 10 seconds, where you're not resting, you keep moving, you're going, doing your legs, doing your abs, three seconds, upper body, all in the same workout. Um, but you know, either either route you go, I think that um, the idea is to try to be efficient. You know, don't take supplements. Don't feel like you need to have protein supplements or anything like that. I don't take any. I consider myself fairly athletic. Um, I've performed at a very high level in many different athletic things, whether it's mile lunging. I had an unofficial world record for a while. I've, with jiu-jitsu, I've trained with world champions. Um, five seconds, pull-ups, I've done, you know, 60 in my prime in one set. Go.
And, um, you know, throughout that whole time, I'm not taking supplements. I'm not taking protein. I'm not taking creatine. It's really not necessary. I don't think it's, it's actually good for you. I think you're better off, you know, focusing your energy on natural foods, um, stabilizing your blood sugar, having good carbs, good fats, good proteins. Um, you know, this is really every year, every couple of years we get these fat diets, fat workouts, and the driver for those are really, in my opinion, marketing, business, making money. You know, my approach is, I think, timeless. This is something you could do, you could have done hundreds of years ago. You can do it in a hundred years. You can do it now. It's consistent. It's gradual progression. It's natural foods that we're, we've evolved to eat um, for thousands and thousands of years and kind of more of a balanced long-term health approach to life. So if you guys have questions, I try to answer everything. Um, the channel's been growing pretty fast and I'm trying to keep up. So forgive me if, I, uh, if I'm delayed, but I, you know, probably the most important thing to me is to keep getting content out, out there. Because I think when you're, um, if you're someone that's trying to change your life, it's important to, to, to form a new habit to forge a new habit and you do that with repetition, with keeping your goal in your mind and planting it in your subconscious and working towards it a little bit every day. And the next most important thing is for me to answer questions, you know, legitimate questions people have. So I'm always going to try to do that as long as I can. We'll see you next time.